up, this is Chef Antonio. Welcome back to my kitchen. Thanksgiving is around the corner and every family is always looking for something special to cook the day. The recipe that we are going to prepare today is the Brazilian sausage dressing. It's a very simple recipe and I'm going to show you the way that we are doing it at Fogo for the Thanksgiving day and also for the Thanksgiving dinner package to go that we offering this year. But while we are cooking it, I can probably give you some idea how you can add your own twist to it. So let's do it. Let me show you first all the ingredients. The start in this recipe is definitely our Brazilian sausage, where our ear already removed the casing and break it down in a little bite pieces. We got some very small diced celery, onions, garlic, some green apple diced to about half an inch, good quality of croutons, some chopped parsley, salt, and a poultry seasoning. It's a mix of rosemary, oregano, and sage. Also, very important, a very good quality of chicken stock. So, let's put them all together and I'll show you how simple it is. A couple ounces of extra virgin olive oil in a pan, and I'm gonna sear the sausage first. I wanna make sure that I add in some nice color to the sausage. So, I wanna make sure to achieve a nice caramelization of the sausage. That caramelization is going to use a lot of flavor later on in the dressing. So now that I get the color, I'm adding the garlic. And I'm going to give also to the garlic a little golden brown note. Next step is uh, adding the diced onion and the celery. You're going to find all the quantity at the end of the video. I don't want to talk about quantity now. I want to more concentrate on the technique. So again, here it's important that we're going to sweat a little bit of onions and the celery and get some of the sugar out and get the flavor of the marriage together. Now is the time of adding the apple. And also, it can be the right time to add your personal twist to the recipe. You know, dry cranberry or well, well, grapes and have some color if you want it. Or even mushrooms, different type of mushroom. I will say also that uh, butternut squash will be a very good complement to this recipe. We are in the seasoning now and the salt. So yes, we want to sweat and soft a little bit of ingredients, but not too much. We want to stay still firm and keep the color bright because we are going to have the broth, the chicken, the chicken stock that we were talking about before, the croutons, the parsley, and we're going to transfer everything in a casserole and wash it in the oven for about 20 minutes until the top of the is very nice and crispy and all the flavor are going to blend and bloom very good together. I'm turning off the fire now and I'm adding the croutons directly here on the pot. I'm mixing everything together like so. And I'm going to have with the broth right now. Now, the last touch is the chopped parsley. You can see it's a very good quantity. It's a full cup of parsley here. I'm gonna mix it. You wanna do the parsley when the fire is already off after you have the broth, because you don't wanna lose the nice bright color of the parsley. See? And we are about ready to add it, the dressing and the casserole. Ready. Now we are ready to bake it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna taste it. It just came out the oven, nice and bubbly. And look like it's gonna be a beautiful side for this beauty. Let me taste it a little bit, always I need to taste it. Perfect. And actually, this one is one of those recipes that the, if you let it rest a little bit, even if you make actually the day before and the next day you bake it, it's even better. So enjoy. 
Have a great Thanksgiving. And remember always that cooking is an act of love. Ciao.